Good day, Dr. Brian Prax coming to you, Chronic Care Charlottesville. The topic of today is steroid injections. I don't know how many times I get it, being a chiropractor, been in business over 21 years, I don't know how many times I get this in the history uh, as I'm talking to people with back pain, sciatica, peripheral neuropathy, a number of different, even neck conditions where a doctor will, uh, or a patient will let me know that their doctor has prescribed, recommended, or the patient has already been through spinal injections. So in doing my research, I came across an article that I thought you should know about. This was an article actually published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery, 2013. And you should know that this was done by a, a well-respected um, orthopedic spine surgeon. So this is not a chiropractor, an acupuncturist, it's not even a primary care doc who's doing this study. This is an orthopedic spine specialist. So I'm just going to switch you on over here to take a look at the notes with me. Let's get you here a little bit closer. Hopefully you can blow that up and read exactly what I'm looking at here. So it assessed the effect of lumbar epidural steroid injection on the subsequent vertebral body fracture. Um, Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery, very, a peer-reviewed, very well-respected, top-tier journal for orthopedists. Um, five medical researchers, all medical doctors on that. Um, patient population, there was 3,000 people who were exposed to spinal uh, steroid injections and 3,000 who were not. And it was reviewing vertebral body fractures. The body is the big part of the vertebra um, that uh, was fractured. And you probably are thinking already, fracture, injection, what do you mean? Let's go further because one of the things you need to know is one of the major side effects uh, of spinal injections with steroid is increasing your risk of fracture of your back. Did you even know that? It also, it's, uh, steroid injections can also affect your liver in a negative way, your kidneys. Whatever they're injecting into, research has indicated that it softens the tissue, including the bone itself. So uh, there was a graph here in the study, and we'll, we'll send you the link as well to the study. But the graph revealed that, uh, or the research revealed, that with each steroid injection, the risk of fracture increased by 21%. Beep, whoa, let's stop right there. So for injection number one, and I've had patients that have had this for years. Are you one of them? For injection one, your increased risk of spinal vertebral fracture is 21%. Your second one, and doctors say, oh, you can't have more than four a year, one every three or four months, you can't have that. That's because you're increasing your risk of fracture and liver problems. The second injection, 42%. The third one, add 21, that's going to be 63% increase. And it goes up and up and up. And I'll see if I can find that graph for you as well. Back to my uh, notes on the research. Let's go right back over here. Uh, one other older study exposed the adverse risk of steroid injection, injections. This one looked at the risk of bone loss. You lose density from steroid injections. What are we saying? Osteoporosis can be caused. I actually had a patient that came in from another negative effect. She not only had osteoporosis from the steroid injections, but she had osteonecrosis. Look it up, but uh, necrosis means death. Literally, she got de uh, bone death from these injections. So a lot of other risks you need to know about. Serious risks or complications also include nerve damage, paralysis, strokes, and even death. This is from the orthopedist, okay, and right from the research. Multiple medical research teams have included that there is a lack of evidence to support the use of injections for lower back pain, spinal stenosis, or sciatica. And I hear this all the time. Doctors say, oh, I don't like referring to chiropractors. There's no evidence. And that's not actually true at all. There is a plethora of evidence on the benefits of the efficacy and the safety of chiropractic adjustments, of massage, of acupuncture, particularly the safety. But the efficacy means it works. Apparently, though, according to this research, multiple medical research teams have concluded that there is actually no evidence to support the safety and efficacy of spinal injections. Did you get that? All right, so let me put this on pause. I'm going to pull up that, uh, that graph for you. Here it is. So uh, 
Incre here are the graphs. Increased risk of vertebral body fracture related to steroid injections. So just like I said, first injection, 21% increase. Second, 42, 63, you do the math, 84% on the fourth. You have a 105% increased risk of getting a vertebral fracture. Believe me, you do not want to get a vertebral fracture. When that happens, it causes pain, but also wherever it occurs, it usually causes this sort of thing. You know, and if you see grandma or grandpa walking around, they used to be nice and erect and standing up, and you see them like this, bent forward like that, a lot of those are from fractures, and a lot of times we attribute that to osteoporosis, part of the aging process. It's not a normal part of the aging process. Steroid injections, here's the bottom line from the orthopedist and the researcher. Hasn't been proven to help, has been proven to increase your risk of some serious injury. Think about it, try some alternatives, uh, chiropractic, massage, laser therapy, spinal decompression therapy, acupuncture. Good nutrition, these are some of the things that we talk about on a regular basis. And how about this? Exercise. I have a lot of videos on those things. Check out my other videos, leave a remark below, leave a comment, I would love to hear it. If there's a topic that you haven't heard or would like to hear about, let me know. I do check all the replies. Other than that, have a great day and talk to you soon.